Hey y'all. All right, I got another question. How do you know when your relationship is over? Well, it can be really simple. One of them says, hey, it's fucking over. I'm done. I'm not trying anymore. I'm out of here. The other one's not so simple. They stop trying. They stop interacting with you as much. They stop trying to make plans with you. They stop trying for the little things. Or they stop doing the little things. And they're either waiting for you to get the hint and on a wing and a prayer, make a dramatic change, or they're just waiting until they get the nerve to say it's over. I don't believe most relationships end without someone still being madly in love. And that is the worst ending ever, when you are madly in love with someone, but you know you have to walk away. You know it's over when you don't fit into their life anymore, even though you're their spouse. And I say spouse fairly loosely. Um, you can be a girlfriend. You can be a fiance. You can be a wife. Um, just the significant other of that person. When you're no longer their go-to, as far as when they're angry, they call you to calm down. When they're upset, they call you for help. When they're stuck, they call you for solutions. Or they just call you because they miss you. I think when the little things stop and you, you feel them or see them pulling away. You can try everything you want, um, but when one person's done, they've pretty much made up their mind they're done. And honestly, I think a lot of couples try to save it before they walk away. Because again, the hardest thing you'll ever have to do is walk away from someone you're madly in love with. But if they're not madly in love with you, it's probably best. So, like I said, it's either one of two ways. Either one person says, hey, it's over. You know, we've tried. We are not doing this anymore. Or there's the little signs that are leading up to it. That if you notice them early on, there is a chance of repair. Sometimes not, but sometimes there is. But it's generally, it both are pretty clear. Um, therapy helps sometimes, sometimes not. Sometimes the separation works, sometimes it doesn't. I don't really necessarily believe in taking a break. Um, I think a break is only more confusing. It needs to be, we're done, or we're going to work through this. But other than that, how do you tell your relationship's over? It stops. It's easy to be, it's not, well, it's not easy, but a lot of people find themselves in a relationship that is over, but nobody will say it. And sometimes, you gotta say it. All right, that's sad, it's depressing. But that was the question. Do I, because I tell the truth, it's all I'm ever gonna tell. If you got a question of your own, email it to me at onehonestlife at yahoo.com. Text me, PM me, call me, and uh, I'll answer yours too. All right, like, subscribe, and share the bar, bitch. Talk to y'all later, bye-bye.